So you know how it's been spring and very nice weather the last few days? It's currently snowing. Like, snowing, snowing. What is this absolute nonsense happening outside right now? What is that? So it was snowing yesterday, right? Get up this morning, everything's covered in snow. It's about quarter to three in the afternoon. Almost everything is completely back to being green and snow is melted. I'm looking outside and it's like going back and forth between gray skies, blue skies, like the sun is peeking through sometimes. And also I'm just sitting in a completely dark house. So I don't believe in electricity. And I noticed earlier, it was like kind of snowing a tiny bit, but like then the sun would come back out and it'd be fine and nothing was sticking. I just now looked outside and it's borderline a blizzard. What, what is this? Guys! What, what is this? Stop it! Hello everybody. I've come out to the garage this morning, this afternoon, it's 1.30, for two reasons. One, I needed to fill up the cat's food container because it was empty. So I did that. Two, to get a soda because I wanted a soda. But I figured while I was out here, uh, this morning, Dan and I went for a walk with Lambo, as we have been doing most mornings. And people have been starting to put things out for like a bulk item pickup day that is supposed to be coming up pretty soon here. And while we were walking, we came across this ottoman, like rocking chair and like, like a glider, that's what it is, that's what it's called. A glider and like matching little ottoman and we ended up grabbing it because somebody had left it out and it's like, it's not in bad shape. Look at that. Like, it's really nice. Um, I mean, it has, we were looking at it, like it has scratches and stuff, which if that's, none of those are deep. You can, you can hide those. And I mean, it is stained some. There are, I mean, it, there's just normal wear and tear like that. You can tell children have had their feet on that a lot, but I mean, look at how nice that looks. We already have an ottoman upstairs that I have had for over 10 years at this point, and it is very lightly worn. There is not that much wear and tear to it because we do not have children to be running and jumping and going crazy on it. So it is not destroyed and it has held up. So we have no intention of like swapping them, but I thought this might be a cool opportunity to attempt some like upholstery if we wanted to try to give because like this back cushion is still in fantastic shape. Like there's still a lot of really nice like stuffing there, but like this, this cushion and this cushion, like maybe taking these off and just giving them some like new fabric. I mean like whatever it needs, it doesn't need a lot. So that's something that we're going to look into doing because I think that would be really, really cool. And then we have another really, really nice glider. Like that is a nice glider. Like look at the wood. I am in love with it. I love the color. Ah, but so Dan and I are probably gonna be keeping a closer eye on people who are putting like trash out and stuff under the curb and we might be snagging more stuff. And I might be wanting to do some different like DIY stuff. Cause I think that'd be really fun. But now I need to get a soda and keep working because I've been spending my entire morning so far working on, I'm gonna have a Pepsi. I've been spending my entire morning finishing the G.I. Joes, stuffed animals, characters. I've been calling them nostalgia buddies. <laughs> um, and I just need to finish, I need all I need left to do on the second one for Storm Shadow is stuff it and sew up the back and both of them are done, which works out great because Dan is coming or Dan is going to Illinois tomorrow, so they have to be done by tomorrow. But I'm very excited with how they turned out. I'm making a whole video on that, so you will have to watch that video when it comes out if you want to see them. I wanted to show that, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. Good morning! My mom is here now! She is here! So we are hanging out. She brought along some goodies of stuff that she found in the basement, and then 
that are mine that she just brought that I can do whatever with. Um, but she also brought a box of salt and pepper shakers. I don't know if I've even mentioned this on a blog before, but she used to collect salt and pepper shakers and she had this huge china cabinet just full of them. And she had them from like all over the world from whether her dad was in Japan. Uh, it was in the Korean War. Yeah, he was in the Korean War. So he had brought back salt and pepper shakers from there. And because his mother collected them. Oh, I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my grandpa's mom collected salt and pepper shakers, so he'd bring them back for her, and then you inherited some of yep. them. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I did not know that, actually. <laughs> huh. Okay. Um, so my mom had collected a bunch, and then my dad, being a truck driver, would drive all around the country, and he would bring some home as well from different states. So she collected a lot of them. So she was going through them recently and sent me pictures and asked if I wanted any, and I was like, obviously. So she sent me pictures and I circled in the pictures which ones I wanted. So she brought them along. So I thought it'd be fun to go through, show them to you. And if mom remembered anything cool about them, she could tell us. Oh, wow. I started mine at 13. Wow. And she knew that. And so when she passed away, I got her. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And she probably had a hundred. And by the time I was done collecting, I think I had about 350 sets. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I just in boxes to go to Goodwill are about 150 sets. Okay, so you, wanted. well, yeah, but you were able to get give away yeah. a lot of, I almost said get rid of them, girls, yeah. Um, and then like Bill and Flo have a few, yeah, and they yeah. have some of the really cool ones, like right. the cat the on the ones, chair yeah. and the Coke ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are the ones then that were from Japan. Japan, mm -hmm. yeah. These, look at how beautiful these are. I'm gonna get like my face out of there so you just enjoy the salt and pepper so my face isn't just like lurking in the background I'm like a weirdo but look at how pretty those are and then they have the salt and pepper right there and like this one doesn't have a cork on the bottom these I probably wouldn't actually use these would be right. decoration right. somewhere mm -hmm. um but right. I see china on the bottom Arita china yeah right. that's because those were made in china before things were made in china oh that's what makes them valuable Oh, interesting. Yeah. AKA, don't break them or let the cats knock them off of the shelf. <laughs> and if they do, they're only things. So, yeah, but know. still. <laughs> so these are really cool. These are like heirloom salt and pepper really shakers. Just, yeah. 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 But yeah, these are really, really pretty. I was so glad each one of you, because he only brought back three from Japan. Yeah. And each one of you girls wanted a different one. Oh, good. Oh, good. good. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't want them to go too far. Right. Like we're from right. Also, like, and there's this one, which is a mushroom, which I just thought was really cute. And it's just two halves of a mushroom. But then you can sit it together. And it's like that. I thought that one was really, really cute. Any fun facts about this one? Uh, those were grandma's. Oh, they were they? Mm -hmm. Oh, so these are kind of heirloom as well. And then again, I, th I, don't, I think a lot of these probably don't have both of Some the of stoppers. Yeah. yeah. Right. Which, that's and fine. Some of them, when you kids were little, the corked ones you would push all the way in. Oh, so it's just stuck yeah. in there. So it's like, hmm, okay. Because we're not coming out. Good children. <laughs> well, this one has both of them. 94. These are almost as old as I am. And then we have these that are wigwams. Mm -hmm. Your dad got those. I yeah. think he was in the Dakotas. But these are cool. And the interesting that the the holes are like all around the top of it. They aren't just like at the top, but they're like actually around the top. That's pretty cool. And this one has more, so I'm assuming this is salt. Or no, does pepper Could have be. more? I don't, mm, I don't know. I think salt always has more, unfortunately. <laughs> Not healthy. These I thought were cool. These are the old phones. Neither of these have the thing on right. <laughs> These I thought were cool. Salt and pepper, old telephones. Oh, these both have it. Cool. Because these were the ones I was thinking of actually using. There you go. They have little cows. Look how cute they are. Oh, the holes are on the top of their head. Look at how cute. Those I got, um, I think I ordered them through a magazine. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they were just so cute. They are cute. They have this little basket. I got two of the basket ones, and these have little sheep in them. They're, they're pretty snug in there. They're very snug in there. I'm not going to take them out. <laughs> I don't know how, how fragile they are at this stage. Yeah, those I think came from your dad. Very cute. And the other 
basket bunch. These are worn little chickens, hens. And this one, yeah, this one's really worn. Goodness. Yeah, these come right out. These are not as stuck in there. Got a few owls. Is that on the top? And they have the cork bottoms. Those came from Grandma, too. Yeah, these say Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are cool. Years ago, you know how everything now says made in China. Mm -hmm. Years ago, everything before the China thing said yeah. made in Japan. Yeah. This I thought was fun. Mm -hmm. These are big cork bottoms. Goodness, look at that. But it's a Dalmatian and a fire hydrant. That's cute. The Dalmatian's a bit uh, ghostly with the not painted eyes anymore. That's what happens when it's over 100 years old. Yeah, right? <laughs> These are cool. I thought these are really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, Japan on the bottom. These And these are heavy, too. Yeah. It's pretty cast. Souvenir of San Francisco. But yeah, they're trains. Oh, yeah, and there's a bunch of kids. Will it, will it focus? Focus. <clears throat> kids on there. Very cool, very cool. And you got a couple of these. Or these. It's a pear and an apple. Mm -hmm. Those are grand. Sitting just on a little stand. The stand isn't anything. It's just a stand for them. And this one I thought was cute for, like, fall time. I'd have to find... Um... Oh, this one, it just has a sticker on the bottom. Oh, and it looks like it was broke at one time and glued back together. Oh, must have been before my day. I don't remember that happening. Huh. Boneville, Salt Flats, Utah. Is that from your dad, maybe? Probably, yeah. Uh, a little pumpkins. And the last, yeah, last one. If those are from your dad, your kids probably broke it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> it's a little beehive and a bear. Yeah, really, and those both have the, the corks in them, so these are both fully operational, which I would probably use these. This is nice and big, too, so you'd be able to hold a lot in them, which is nice. Look at how cute. Aw, oh, so cute. Bye-bye. <laughs> Very cool. Now I just have to figure out where to put all of them. I'm glad you didn't get any more. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have I space. a few more boxes. <laughs>